Now the earlier video which I did, I created a organization and then I created a user ID on Zoho for Zoho invoice. And both of those uh, organization name, user ID and everything actually uh, ended up being shown in the MITM proxies HTTPS requests in the headers and we could see absolutely everything there. Uh, now I went ahead and did a password reset. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and done a password reset and they've sent me this saying that I can reset my password. And when I click on this again, the same thing happens. Uh, my password is being shown in open in uh, plain text. So let's try that out. I'll do it live. So I click on reset password. And because MITM is not on now, MITM is on, it will pass the request. And let's say, one second, let me check my yeah, network settings are okay. Fine again, reset password, let's see. And here it is. So the password I'll type in is test underscore uh, weak as in a weak password and then exclamation at hash four five six. Again, test underscore weak underscore exclamation at hash four five six and let's see so it says success over here and over here it shows me a post which is there at the bottom I can see this account Zoho password reset I click enter I get into that and here is the password here you can see the password is there it's in plain text and there's a user ID also which is there and this is exactly what I tried about a minute or two back and let me show you that as to I took a screenshot of that and look this is the same URL on top HTTPS accounts Zoho in password reset and this is the request which is being sent it is going to accounts zoho.in that's the user agent so that's basically my uh, browser which is there it's on ubuntu that is what it is firefox 70 that's the browser that got and then accept language and all of these things are the same then of course all of this is there the earlier one was test pass something exclamation 456 whatever and the user ID, the user ID probably is the same. Yes, the user ID is the same. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe maybe user ID is crea created on the particular session or whatever. But uh, the passwords are there. So the passwords are being shown in. Uh, and it says the password reset has successfully updated the password. Continue to sign in. And if I sign in with that, of course, I can sign in also now. But my point is very simple. So the password is there in open text. And this is Zoho. I don't know what what exactly I am supposed to think now. But these guys have absolutely zero security consciousness. So there is there is and there are lots of people who are using this. Right, so there's a whole lot of people who are using this. And just to show you, this is the, uh, you see over here the mode is HTML. So that is the auto mode. You can also change this mode. So in case you want to, you can look at the raw, this thing, what the raw page would look like. And you could also look at hex, which is, which is of not much use here. But presume you had a, hex file to somehow you know look into and maybe do something with 
some assembly code which is being passed in there now uh, similarly uh, if you were to do this on whatsapp any of the uh, transactions which happen on whatsapp they will end up showing a hex code so i did take on screenshot earlier let me see if in that it is clear yeah this is the one so this is whatsapp something and this is the raw version of the hex so you can see the hex code down here the mode i have kept as raw but if i were to change it to hex this is what you'll see so all of this communication is very easily caught by uh, MITM proxy. So MITM proxy is catching all of this and uh, there are very detailed uh, uh, tutorials which are available which is the uh, tutorial official uh, one for MITM proxy. And of course then they tell you all these options are there, all these options can be changed and one option that I was playing around with over here uh, was this so I I had this particular option and within which so for the uh, initial this thing is of course my language has to be there uh, the encoding has to be UTF-8 uh, for the uh, terminal otherwise M MITM proxy won't uh, run properly it will end up throwing an error then I have given this set uh, command which is there was the set parameter for uh, and for what have I given that is for the option which is console default content view so do I want the content view default view to be raw or do I want it to be hex or do I want it to be HTML or something so that can be defined over here and then of course this P is port 8989 and write to a file now we are writing this down to a file this entire dump is being written to a file which was I just called it log whatsapp you can you can call it other things so let me show you here uh, yeah and I go back by hitting Q and I further go back by hitting Q and accepting the yes down there and this is what I have so again uh, the console or the terminal language that needs to be or the encoding which needs to be UTF-8 then of course MITM proxy and set so that console default is earlier over here on top you can see I set it to raw and then I have that port number and now then I set it to auto and uh, like you saw right now I'll just play this once again I'll change that file name uh, I can change that mode so that uh, let me just let me just do that so that uh, one second why won't, yeah I'll, I'll just refresh this page so that it pulls in couple of flows and on any of these flows let's say I go here and I go to the response by tabs so the tabs basically change the this thing and then it shows over here PNG image and it says portable network graphics image so that's the format of the image and over here it shows auto the board is auto if I were to click on M on my keyboard so I have the options auto raw so raw is basically I can't make out much and hex hex would be similar to raw but again it will at least give you some um, assembly language codes are there so some of these codes are used and all of this would be seen if I were to be doing some kind of uh, you know assembly language coding uh, using MASM or any of those uh, tools which are there so this is hex code basically and uh, if I were to change this to JSON I doubt if anything will come so you can you can end up changing this so to javascript again i don't think so much will yeah so that that encoding is not okay for javascript again that is incorrect so we'll just leave it at auto so this is uh, the few things which can be done with the uh, mitm proxy and uh, the catch of course the catch is that uh, the passwords are being uh, shown in raw so there are raw passwords which are being shown which is not okay obviously not okay yeah so this was the earlier email which i got and the passwords are 
like this one over here it says test pass exclamation so this is what i entered so exactly same thing comes out in uh, you know plain text that is definitely a security concern